Welcome to my painting blonde hair tutorial. Grab a photograph from the internet or take your own picture. If you can, print it up. If not, make sure that you have it by you as you need a visual reference. Next, you will need an HB pencil to draw the outline. Once the outline is complete, use a warm red acrylic to paint in the main shadows. Once the shadows are dry, you can now paint over with a beautiful orange by mixing yellow and red together. These will be the highlighted parts of your hair. Remember to use a hairdryer to dry each layer before placing on the next. Once this is dry, you're going to use a brown to go over the more intense or darker shadows. Your initial layer is now down and you have used warm colours as your base. This will radiate through your next few layers. I have now started to add shadows to the highlighted areas. As you may notice, I'm starting to emulate or copy the detail of shadows from my reference photograph. Create a variety of colours and tones by mixing white, red, yellow, brown and towards the end of the painting a bit of black. Create apricot, orange, pale yellow and a light beige. It is time to start adding those to your highlighted areas. Stripe them in. Juxtapose a light yellow against a mid-range orange. Dry your painting regularly and keep layering your paint. It is now time to build on your darker areas. You may want to add some black to your brown. Consider adding in red to help warm it up. Black has a tendency to muddy up your picture, so be considered in your application of it. Acrylic paint requires numerous layers to look robust or dense. I work the layers by adding more and more detailing each time. To create the look of an errant or wayward hair, a strand of hair, you will need a thin brush which has a tip. Use a steady hand to paint these strands on. These are the kind of details which start making the hair look lifelike. The individual strands can be white or pale yellow, but they can also be darker in tone. Put your colour back if you feel like you've lost it. You'll see here that I added a bit more yellow because I felt like I'd lost that tone. Now keep adding those details until you feel you have completed your image and you feel like it looks realistic. How do you know whether you've finished? Check against your reference photo.